What's up guys and welcome to the Reviewer Executioner Corner. Today's review, we're doing a quick one on the Kitchen In Stand Mixer. Now guys, this is actually a really cool device because it's not just a normal stand mixer and we'll be going over that in a little bit. But let's just dive into it and see what you'll be getting. So this is the box itself, obviously. And the front and back are exactly the same, so we're not going to really be looking at the other side. We will look at the sides real quick just to get a glimpse. And just some basic information, nothing really crazy about the wattage, the device itself, and what you'll be getting in the box. To be going over what you'll be getting in the box is actually a couple things. So obviously you'll be getting your guide, a dough handle mixer, a wire whip mixer, and a flat meter mixer. You'll be also be getting a pour guard, guard I should say, and a splash guard as well as your stand mixer and the mixing bowl itself. So guys, we're going to now break up and we're gonna come back and do a complete video breakdown on the stand mixer itself. Stay tuned. All right guys, we're back with the whole entire system itself. And we're gonna go over all the ins and outs on how it works. So obviously I have it tilted all the way up right now and to unlock that or to get it back down, you click this back here and then you push it down and it'll lock back in. To obviously make it go back up, you do the same thing and tilt it all the way up. In order to actually add attachments to this, you will see that there is a spring on top of here and it compresses it onto it. And just to show you real quick how that works, you push down, twist, and it comes right off. And you do the same way just to get it back on. So one hand's a little bit harder, but there we go. One, two, three. For the mixing bowl, it actually has little metal grooves on the bottom here. So if I turn it slightly, it'll come out of place. And you can see there's metal grooves on the bottom here. And it all fits into place because of those metal grooves. So you place that back on once you feel it's nice and flat. Sorry about that. And then you turn it and it's locked in. To show you guys actually the device itself, we're going to go over that right now. So when we lock that down, you have this wonderful, beautiful power button. You click that on and it will tell you minutes and seconds for how long you've been mixing for, which is really nice too. To activate the device, you actually take the lever and you actually turn it. So that's level one, level two, level three, level four, level five, level six, level seven, and level eight. And that's it. And let's go back. So we had it on for 15 seconds. As you can see, it has a nice little timer, as we said before. And it has a lot of power to it. It is not a weak machine. And it's built very well with this nice stainless steel stand and this nice heavy motor on top. Nothing's really made of plastic here. It seems to be all metal, which is really nice. I do like that it's all made of metal. I'm not really big with plastic devices. And guys, we're gonna go over the last thing with this thing. So remember before I said to you that this is not a normal um, stand mixer. And the reason why I say that is you do have this special attachment up here. So you can actually unhook this and take this off and you can actually add different attachments to this device. So just to give you an idea right now, I'm pretty sure they have a meat grinder attachment that you can put on top. It does not come in the box. It's something you have to actually purchase if you want to uh, have those attachments. But it seemed that the Kitchen Inn is going to have multiple different attachments for this device. So this is actually a really great thing to have in the kitchen, especially if you really want to cut down on having a lot of different devices. So guys, this is the Kitchen Inn stand mixer. I hope this gave you an idea of how it works and what it looks like. And have a wonderful day.